I really don't want to play jungle. Well, actually, spawn trap on jungle is not that bad. What is going on, YouTube? My name is Solo Man Kidder. Welcome back to Black Ops 1. I was actually going to be playing Black Ops 3 today, but shit kind of changed, and this is not my main... Is that it? What the fuck? Is that it? I didn't think I had variable scope. Well, maybe I do. I don't fucking know anymore. I haven't played this for god knows how long, except for the one day that I actually recorded a video on here. Fuck. Release the tryhards! What? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's not my class. No, this is. There we fucking go. But some of you might be asking why the hell I would bother touching Black Ops 3 since, well, you know, I can't honestly stand the game. But no, the reason I was gonna be playing Black Ops 3 is I kinda still wanna keep that whole, like, I wouldn't say multi-cod, because it's really not multi-cod, it's, you know, two Call of Duty. Really? But now I can stop getting sidetracked by, you know, trying to spawn trap and massively failing at it. The reason I want to keep playing Black Ops 3 as well as Black Ops 1 is because I still like the idea of playing more than one Call of Duty constantly, and I'm, and I'm sorry the light behind me is kind of making me look like a complete little ghost right now. I don't think I can really fix that with my exposure. Now, unfortunately, I can't do, like, flat-out multi-cod. I can't, like, play, you know, MW2 COD 4 the whole fucking nine yards anymore. But now that I actually have more than one Call of Duty that I can actually play on a consistent basis, I can play Black Ops 3 because I have it downloaded. I can play Black Ops 1 because I currently have it in my disk drive. Somehow, don't even ask. It was seriously not an easy fucking task. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up for one of my teammates do because I want the points. So, for the time being, I'm just gonna be kinda casually alternating between this and Black Ops 3. And they. Never mind, there's just two people that are rushing out. Never mind, I thought it was like three or four. Holy fuck. But I honestly can't be mad today because I got a shit ton. Well, sort of done last night. I mean, it wasn't like a bunch of videos. Oh my god, I have to fix my fucking camera. Wow. Holy fuck, why is that a fucking thing? Why is it that damn bright? It's never that fucking bright. Thank you. That works, I guess. No, let them spawn there, you giant douche. If this was hardcore, I'd shoot you right in the back of the fucking head. Kill him. Don't let him capture the fucking flag. Oh my god. Let them have it. I swear to god, if I get noob I'm gonna be fucking bent. But as I was saying before, I'm pretty fucking happy because I did get a lot done last night. I didn't get a lot of videos done, but I did get one video that I've been setting kind of aside done because I've been so fucking busy. I sat down and edited for approximately five and a half hours last night. And it's not because like this particular video is going to be like the end-all, be-all. It's going to be the most insane video of all time. It's just I had to do certain editing that I don't do a lot. And this kind of editing takes a lot of time in itself. And then take me, who doesn't do it a lot in general, and it takes even longer. This video is about 14 minutes long almost. It's not quite, it's not a vlog, it's something a little bit different. But you guys will see that video here in the next few days, and believe me, you will know it when you see it. And I've been trying to get this particular video done for a while, but there was a hold back because a friend of mine that was helping me with it took a little longer than expected, then I got a hold of it and took a little longer than I expected, it took a while. It actually took a lot longer than I personally expected. I thought it'd take like a couple hours, if that, but no, it took a combined total of about six and a half, seven hours. But hopefully when it does come out, you guys do enjoy it because a lot of work went into this, both for me and a friend of mine who I will like talk about when this video is up. Not this video, but that video that I'm talking about. The video after that, if it's not a Let's Play, which I'm pretty sure it will be a Let's Play, the cutcom after the video goes up, I will talk about it. I will give that person all the credit they deserve. Like I said, once a cutcom comes out after the video is released, because I made a mistake and forgot to put it at the beginning because I didn't really want it at the beginning and I didn't want it at the end because I had something else at the end. It's it's a very long, tedious, bullshit-ass process, but the point is I didn't think it through. So it's going to be in the cutcom after it. Because if I give it out before, then everybody will know what it is. And I kind of wanted to keep it a surprise. Like I said, it's nothing special, it's just something that I've wanted to do for a while. The hit markers are unreal. Fucking hit markers! The hit markers!
That, yeah, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not. No. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here, guys. That got, that just pissed me the absolute fuck off. So, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment if you have not yet subscribed, share it with your friends, it really helped me a lot. And as always, game on. God, I wish the worst possible fate and life for anybody that does that fucking shit with the tear gas. I don't know if that thing, I don't know if that's still a thing, the glitch with the tear gas, um, where you can throw infinite amounts of it. Hopefully it's not.